All right, hey guys, Mike again. I had uh, someone asking me how I installed my facet fuel pump, so I thought I'd make a quick video on it. Basically, when I first got my truck, I was having a lot of problems with air intrusion, and uh, batteries died, and I'm cranking and cranking and cranking, trying to get all the air out. So I installed, first I installed a Mr. Gasket pump from O'Reilly's. Or no, O'Reilly sells it, but I got it from Advanced, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And last about two weeks, clogged up the filter there. It's a very small filter on on the old pump and kept breaking down on me. I couldn't drive the truck barely more than 500 feet. So I went online, I did, a, did some research, talked to a couple guys, and they recommended the facet pump, facet Duralift. I don't know if I can get the front of it or not, but... That's what it's called. It's called the Facet Duralift Fuel Pump. They put these on reefer trailers, I believe, refrigerant tra trailers. They're very reliable, very long-lasting, durable pumps. I believe it's got like a 10-foot uh, pole. So it lifts it all the way back from my tank. It pulls it fuel. And I haven't had a problem with this pump now going on almost a year I've been running it. So I kind of overkilled it. I ran... Uh, See the nylon line there? Maybe get a better angle of it here. But, uh, yeah, I got that nylon line running back to, uh, I believe there's one more because the line wasn't long enough. I think there's one more interruption where we flared another piece of metal tube uh, to another quick connector going directly to the tank. I deleted the fuel selector valve, another area prone to leakage. I don't. I'm just running one one tank at the moment. If I want to run two tanks down the road, I can always put it back in and plumb it back in. But I didn't. I didn't feel like doing that. Pardon this crazy contraption. That's my uh, coolant filter. But basically, how I installed this, pretty easy. I made a bracket for it. I originally had a, uh, a turbo clamp uh, clamped onto the. I removed the AC out of the truck, but I had a turbo clamp clamped down to the AC can up here. And then a, a thinner bracket than I had before mounted to the pump. That snapped off, so I made this, I believe, out of an old uh, transmission dipstick tube holder or something. I think that's what that was from. But I bent it to how I wanted it, and I made this mounting plate and mounted the pump right to that. So it was in, a, in about the same area, so I didn't have to re-bend uh, my uh, my fuel lines. But, uh, what else? Oh, if you install one of the electric pumps, you don't want to run both the mechanical factory pump and the electric pump at the same time. You're going to need a fuel block-off plate. I think it's just called a Chevy Big Block block-off plate. The one I got from O'Reilly's, here's the part number. 1516 the mr. gasket fuel pump block off plate. It's diamond shaped And that mounts uh, Gives you a fresh gasket mounts perfectly right over where your old mechanical pump was and I took the power lead I Bolted it right down to my key on lead on my glow plug controller here. We relocated the controller because this was Originally had the 6.9 motor in it. We relocated and installed a 7.3 controller on the ground plate here. And then my ground for the pump. I got this all in a loom so it's kind of hard to tell. But uh, that comes down and I got my ground going right down here onto the ground plate itself. So uh, I used out of the quick connectors. I, got the, I just grabbed some standard brake line from the parts store. And into some double flare fittings. I installed another pump on my wife's truck, and in fact, I used push lock fittings in her trucks right here. So I'll show you real quick. Now, on the on my bull nose there, I bought the facet 40285 pump. And I noticed that it doesn't keep up quite as well with the motor. It's only 4 to 7 PSI, which uh, I think that is 
uh, when it's not under under a load. But this one on my wife's truck's the 40222 pump, and that's 9 to 11 psi, and this keeps up a lot better. I did similar here. I ran the the lead in the key on lead on the glow plug controller, and I ran push lock fittings on this one, and I'm I'm a little bit more pleased with how this one turned out. Let me get it to focus here. Yeah. I ran a, a 3 8 push lock into the quarter inch. What is it? It's 1 quarter and 1 eighth. I think it's an eighth in BT going into the pump. And ran that right into the filter housing like on the other one. Very, very simple setup. And this is kind of like how my old bracket was. Only I'm going to redo that because uh, the other one broke on me. So I'm not going to delete the air conditioning on this truck. But I'm going to fabricate some other bracket because I don't like that. But again, put another block off plate on this one. I think with everything it was like $100 for the pump. It was probably about $20 in fittings. About another... Oh, I ran a, a solid line. I ran a solid uh, high pressure rated uh, line on this truck so i think i spent 60 dollars on line and then i think it was like less than 10 bucks for that block off plate and i think that's about it so uh very good pumps american made pumps forgot the name of the site i got it from but any other questions just go ahead and comment or uh, those of you that know me on facebook you can reach me there all right have a good one